Koloff landed the opportunity of a lifetime. Frankenstein had been announced as Universal's next major film, but rumors around Hollywood suggested a production in trouble. It was the follow-up to a film released in early 1931, produced by Carl Lemley Jr. over his father's objections. Dracula was an unexpected hit, reviving Universal's fortunes and creating a star in Bela Lugosi. The novelty of it just struck the right chord with America. It was like it was a lightning rod for all of the fear and anxiety in the culture. You know, Dracula was that mysterious draining force at everyone's door, a, a very appropriate, uh, you know, icon for the beginning of this bleak time in America. Carl Lemley needed another hit. Two of Universal's greatest silent successes had been The Hunchback of Notre Dame and The Phantom of the Opera with the man of a thousand faces, Lon Chaney Sr. But Universal lost its star when he defected to MGM. With the popularity of Dracula, Bela Lugosi seemed the logical choice as Chaney's successor.